It is my distinct privilege to introduce a brand new feature in Misty Studio that we lovingly call Shadow Persona. Shadow Persona is available to Orem subscribers, and to access it, you'll see this new icon in the very top right, which is the Shadow Persona icon, and that's going to expose the Shadow Persona in the right realm. What is the Shadow Persona? Well, at a very high level, what the Shadow Persona does is observe the main conversation that you're having, and it's going to provide its own responses to what it sees in that conversation without directly being involved in the main conversation. And I'm gonna show you quickly how you can set it up and then five examples so that you can see what kind of power the shadow persona has. All right, if you click on the personas icon in the left menu, I have five personas already created. So there's not a new folder or anything like that for shadow personas, but rather your existing personas or any new personas that you could create, you can attach to a shadow persona. And the great thing with a shadow persona is that you can enable the different add-ons such as attachments, real-time data, tools, knowledge stacks, and even select a specific model for the shadow persona to use. And all these add-ons, as you can imagine, is gonna provide a lot of power to the shadow persona. And back here with the shadow persona, I'm gonna create a new one. And I'm gonna call this one Punster. And with this, we're gonna adopt that persona that I showed you for Punster. And then where it says update trigger, you could update the shadow persona to respond after every message, after three messages, or you could manually have the shadow persona respond by clicking on manual only. And then for synthesis mode, you could leave it on the default auto. You could do a combined analysis, per split, comparative. We're gonna see all of this in action later. So I'm just gonna leave it on auto for now. And the max versions is the number of shadow persona responses that is held onto. So I'm gonna create this new one and assign it to this chat and let's just start chatting away. So you can see in the main chat, I'm getting the response about who Superman is, and Shadow Persona is gonna wait for the model to complete the response before it provides its own. And so with the punster, what we have set is, given this response from the model in the main conversation, tell me a relevant pun. And in this, I could see the super pun that I got. In this example, Shadow Persona is gonna to refer to two split chats that I have, and it's gonna provide back a comparison to compare and contrast the responses that I get from two different models. Okay, here we can see a response from Gemini 2.5 Flash about who the best basketball player of all time is, as well as a response from Cogito. And then our Shadow Persona is reviewing these two responses and providing a summary. So we can see that it provided the similarities, the differences, and also with the Shadow Persona, with its prompt, I asked it to tell me what it thinks the best response was. And so in this case, it believes that Gemini 2.5 provided the better response, and these are the reasons for that. Now I'm gonna have a Shadow Persona that synthesizes the results that it sees in two different split chats. For this, I use Gemma and Quinn to provide me with short essays on Michael Jordan. And then what the Shadow Persona did is look at both of these results, and then synthesize them to improve the essay. Now let's do something a little more advanced with Shadow Persona. This Shadow Persona is a Misty Studio expert, meaning for this persona, I gave it access to the Misty Studio documentation knowledge stacks. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna ask in the conversation a question about Misty Studio, which I really don't expect Gemini 2.5 Flash to just know based off of its training and the cutoff. But what the Shadow Persona will do is look at the conversation and verify that the response I'm getting from Gemini 2.5 Flash is indeed valid or invalid. I'm gonna ask, how do I download Misty Studio on a Mac? Well, you can see from the results here that Gemini has no idea what I'm talking about. And take a look at what the Studio Expert Shadow Persona responded with. Again, I made it an expert on Misty Studio and it is reviewing the conversation I'm having with this main model. And it's telling me that their response is not accurate, which indeed it is not. And then it's providing me with more accurate instructions saying, okay, if you want to download Misty Studio desktop on your Mac device, here's a link to download and install for Apple Silicon Macs. And here is the link for Intel Macs. So a much better answer. And you can see how it leveraged the knowledge stacks. So if I expand that, then you can see the context from the knowledge stacks that it was using in order to provide a more accurate response. And in this last example, I have a Tutor Shadow Persona. So with that, the idea is I'm just gonna start asking the main model here some questions about some kind of subject that I'm curious to learn more about. Okay, so I asked the main model several questions and the directive of the Tutor Shadow Persona is that it's supposed to keep track of the topics that were covered. 
So it's talking about the dinosaur fundamentals, evolutionary divergence between humans and dinosaurs, since I asked if humans are dinosaurs. I also asked about feathers and dinosaurs, and I also asked the main model to tell me more about Manoraptorans. And then at the bottom, my tutor is suggesting, okay, why don't you dive more into the birdness of Manoraptorans, the impact of fossil discoveries, more about dinosaur physiology and behavior, the broader Mesozoic ecosystem, the mechanism of evolution. So my tutor is recommending for me to do deeper dives into these things. And I also enabled for this shadow persona, real-time data access. So if we scroll down below, it's getting more information from different third-party sources that really falls along with this conversation. So you can see the power of equipping your shadow personas with real-time data, with knowledge stacks, with attachments, with MCP tools to really make it a powerful kind of observation assistant that could help tackle several different use cases from keeping track of conversations to providing comedic relief to even triggering different workflows, all with just observing the conversation that you're having within the main conversation area. So I hope this provides just a really good overview of what shadow personas are capable of. And I'm gonna create a lot of video tutorials about how to use shadow personas in several different unique ways.